Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading for the month of August uh, 2016. Uh, this month I'm still collaborating with uh, Marie Moore. I will be for a while, probably will keep mentioning it. Uh, so if you have not checked out Marie's channel, please do so below. Uh, I have her link right at the top of the description below. Uh, Marie does tarot videos and uh, astrology in the same video, weeklies and monthlies, kind of like I do. And she's awesome and we're trying to help each other grow. So definitely check her out uh, below. Also, uh, I did the extended readings as well this month. So if you'd like to get an extended reading, you can do that right here uh, in the video. I'll have a link to the extended readings. They're all about like 10 minutes long, but a bunch of you asked if I would be doing that again. And yes, I will. Uh, so let's look at what's going on for you in August. And uh, yeah, it looks good. <coughs> Interesting. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe you're coming off some sort of like grief or some sort of upset or something like that um, at the beginning of the month. So I don't know what that's about, but you know this can be a death card. It can, and it doesn't actually necessarily have to be in a, a bad way either. This can be just a transformation card as well. But for some of you, I do feel the whole uh, uh, grief thing. So maybe you are coming off of some sort of difficult situation or something like that. But the rest of the month looks amazing. So. Again, the Ten of Spades can represent the past. It can represent us thinking about the past and all this other stuff. So maybe a lot of you are, are just thinking about the past as well. But uh, next, it's followed up by the Ace of Clubs. Uh, you know, I always say this is my favorite card in the deck. It represents learning, education, uh, which has come up for you quite frequently, I would say, over the past few months. So definitely learn as much as you can about things that you're interested in in life and it could be anything it could be uh you know you know you could be just reading books you could be watching youtube videos whatever it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go back to school or anything like that but this card <coughs> represents um education um paying off in a big way and again that can be self education with books or things like that so definitely sharpen your skills and and learn as much as you can about you know maybe things you're working on or things that you want to improve i always say that with this card too it's a card of improvements so Anywhere where your life is lacking, if you could just pick up a book or, like I said, watch some YouTube videos or something about it, uh, then, you know, this can pay off big time. Next, you have the Two of Diamonds. Really good business card. Really good for money as well. Uh, this could be you matching up with, like, a financial situation um, that's very positive. So it could be you matching up with an investment that's very positive. Uh, it could be you matching up with a job, a new job that makes you really happy, uh, or even a business partner coming in as well who would be uh, very beneficial for you. But this is a, a really good card. It's even a good card to just looking at everything else here too. Um, you know, I'd say it'd be a good month for you to look at your finances and look at how to grow your finances as well. Especially I'm getting for those of you that have a business. Um, you know, I think a lot of you who do have businesses could easily, and just again, looking at what's going on here, learn about some sort of like upsell or some sort of, you know, additional service or something that you could add to your business that would maybe have a major impact. Again, um, you know, I really want to stress this card because this card is about doing something really small, really easy, um, that has a major impact. So definitely uh, keep that in mind this month. Next, you have the Four of Hearts. <coughs> Excuse me. Great card for love. Great card for more love coming in. And uh, it's a very supportive card. It's even a card of commitment and making a new commitment in relationships. So a lot of you could be seeing a relationship kind of go to the next level. And for those of you that uh, are looking for love, this is also a good card for more love coming in and, and finding new love and things like that. So that's really nice. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades represents internal fears that don't exist, and it's also about letting go of fears. So definitely let go of the, anything that's holding you back. You have the Ten of Spades, Seven of Spades. You know, the, both cards are about letting things go uh, and letting go of the past. I think it's, um, you know, for you in particular, Taurus, I think it's about you um, pushing yourself to, you know, past your beliefs. In a lot of ways, that's what, I mean, that's how I think of Taurus in a lot of ways. It's like, you know, Taurus, I think get stuck on on these levels of beliefs and they really have to work really hard to push past them so definitely uh try to exceed your own expectations in a lot of ways with these cards uh and finally you have the ten of diamonds really great card a card of prosperity and more money coming in also a card of socializing uh meeting new people travel moving planning a move uh, a lot of you seem to be planning a move anyway uh, but it's a card of more prosperity and more business coming in also great for contracts as well so if you're involved in any sort of contract or you know that could be in real estate you know maybe you're buying a house selling a house could be in business or you know it could be a job or something like that uh, this is a very good card very supportive 
for uh, contracts and any, anything along those lines. But it's also just a really great money card. So uh, definitely more money coming for you as well this month. So it looks like a great month. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy.